Phantomaniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel, brought to you by Audible Interlude, a G.I. Joe podcast, available wherever you get your podcast each and every Friday. Today we are taking a look at the G.I. Joe classified series Cobra Viper, the Python Patrol version, which are Target exclusive and which were a tremendous headache to wait on for well over a year, but now we've got them, they're showing up in volume uh, in some places, they've been available online uh, enough times that if you're, you know, if you're paying attention, you should be able to get one or more. Uh, I'm excited. I really like this color scheme. I wasn't super enthused at the pictures online, but having it in hand, the red and the bright yellow with the gray, it just looks cool. I dig it. Uh, packaging wise, you got some great art on the side. On the back, you've got the cool kind of jungle motif that we saw in the dioramas that Hasbro put together uh, to promote this line over a year ago. Well over a year ago, I guess, from when they were initially promoting it. Uh, and the Cobra Viper's specialties are footwear, eggs, punching, and Miami Beach. Uh, but you can find out the actual ones at gijoe.com. Uh, not Miami Beach, Myrtle Beach. What am I... I'm a little off today, you guys. I'm having to squeeze in a number of reviews because I got uh, lots of overtime. Come Well, I just got finished doing a ton of overtime. Uh, and now I've got a lot more overtime in the next couple of weeks. So I've got to knock some reviews out to have content on the channel. Uh, but it is the right time of year to be making some extra money, isn't it? Especially with all these G.I. Joe pre-orders showing up. Which, by the way, apparently Dusty, Zorana, and the Crimson Guard are getting ready to ship. Uh, and if you follow our pal Legion Cub on Instagram, co-host of Audible Interlude, you can see he's already got his Crimson Guard, uh, which I'm a little jealous of. Uh, but follow Legion Cub on Instagram for lots of great toy photography. Uh, he, he has a good eye for that stuff. All right, there is our Python Patrol Cobra Viper. I really love this this color scheme. So, our original Viper, which was also a Target exclusive, I do not yet have the three-pack. Uh, it's on the way, and I'll be reviewing it here because I love doing these comparisons. Uh, so, as far as Deco goes, uh, you can see... Interesting. Isn't it funny how different things can look with just a little bit of color difference. So obviously our original Piper, we've <laughs> Piper, Roddy Roddy Piper needs to be a Viper. Uh, our original Viper here, uh, I've got the black boots, black knee pads, uh, the two different colors on the trousers, which this still bugs me, this weird, I still feel like this pattern should go down the leg, but whatever. Uh, so we've got the two colors here. We've got the single colored holster. And then on the belt, on the original, you do have uh, paint on that Cobra logo. And on our Python Patrol guy, there's no paint on that. Uh, and as a result, it's just kind of mushy and doesn't stand out. I would have loved the red paint on that as well. Uh, but you do have the Python Patrol camouflage pattern on his sleeves. Uh, and I don't have any original Python Patrol figures because I was out of collecting Joe at the time. And it, I just haven't gotten to a point where I'm buying that stuff yet. It will happen someday. So I don't have a side-by-side -side comparison from my collection here. Uh, but you do have... Well, look at the difference in how those vests are sitting. Isn't that interesting? Because these these shoulder straps look like they're sitting so much higher on the Python Patrol guy to the point where it almost looks like a different vest. It's not. It's just that it sits differently on the original Viper. Very interesting. Uh... So we've got the grenades are painted. Uh, these clip, uh, magazines, almost said clips, just don't want you guys yelling at me. I guess I can just move. I, I hate reposing figures because when you put them back on the shelf, it's like, are they going to stand again? Uh, so you can see 
different paint detailing on the Python Patrol. It would be great if these straps were painted, but also it's it's not bad. It's it's not really a, a lack. It's just different. Uh, you do have this portion painted a different color, which is just black on this one, and then you do have these uh, fasteners here painted and not painted on the original Viper. Now it's interesting, I guess he doesn't need two Cobra logos, but the fact that the Python Patrol bat has the Cobra emblem on his shoulder, it just seems like he should too, but he's just got it located in a different spot, I suppose. Uh, and then the helmet, you've got red instead of silver, which looks very cool, and then the yellow trim on it, uh, so same, same amount of paint there. It's really where it's plussed up is that Python Patrol camouflage. Oh, look at that. That's a nice detail as well. Now, you don't have these straps painted on the Python Patrol, but you do have this upper back portion with paint on it, so that's nice. Okay, uh, I'm, I have, uh, with the bat the other day, I learned, wow, look at that. They've even got the deco in the armpits. I honestly expected these to just be unpainted, uh, so that's that's very nice. Uh, so I learned with the bat the other day to be a little more careful moving these around because I have been reading about the pegs getting stressed uh, up in these hip joints. And, you know, I have a tendency to just kind of move stuff around just to try and loosen it up nicely. And I somewhat incautiously moved the bat's hip joint and that peg just turned white. So I'm going to be a little more careful with those now. Not something we should have to worry about. Uh, I think Hasbro needs to really take a look at that. Maybe start using metal for those pegs or something. I don't know. Uh, but not not really acceptable in a modern toy to not be able to move the joints around without heating it up or whatever it is you're supposed to have to do. Uh, double jointed knees. I mean, this is standard classified articulation. I'm not going to get too deep into it because I did review the regular Viper before and it's all the same. Uh, I, I really liked, and I didn't realize how much I would dig this, I think it's very cool that you can see the exposed skin in the neck there. Now, tactically, I'm not sure how smart that is, uh, but it's a cool look. It, it just adds a little something extra to this figure. Uh, and then here, just like with the original Viper, if you want to... Mm, well, heat up, <laughs> heat up those hands if you like. Uh, and these are removable, and as you can see... Uh, there's exposed skin on the forearms as well, so you could have these just without uh, these gauntlets on, if you so desire. Uh, so he looks great, very striking figure. I might prefer him to the regular Viper, to be honest, just from the perspective of looking like a cool toy on the shelf. Uh, Accessory-wise, we've got the Viper backpack which has one less color of paint on it than the original, and I'm fine with that because, again, uh, it doesn't look like it's missing anything. It just looks different. Let's see if it fits any better uh, on this guy. Oh, wow. Okay, so that is actually an improvement. That is in there snug. It fits nice and flush with his back, uh, whereas on these original Vipers, these don't feel as... Like, they're a little loose in there. The peg could stand to be a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker. Uh, and it stays on okay, but just immediately, this one feels a lot better. Uh, you have got a pistol, very simple pistol. And that'll fit right into the holster. You've got the rifle with the magazine, and thank goodness... They stopped putting those giant pegs on these. That is the one thing. Hmm. That's the one thing that drives me crazy uh, about the Cobra Troopers. I put that in the wrong way. Uh, those pegs on their rifles are absolutely horrendous. Uh, reminiscent of the old, what, the sound activation stuff from the early 2000s. 
it's like almost that level of bad. Uh, but I am a big fan of this rifle. Looks great. Would I have liked the original Viper rifle? Yeah, that would have been cool. But that's not a bad rifle. I dig it. Uh, and then finally, those mysterious goggles that everybody wonders, why does this guy with a helmet have goggles? Uh, but I, it just completes the look of the figure. Not everything in G.I. Joe has to make sense. Uh, for your own personal Vipers, you might want to heat this up a little bit and then put it on the helmet, uh, which I think I might have to do because it looks like these don't want to stay on. They're kind of sliding off. Uh, that's the look. But the, the idea to me was always sometimes he might take that helmet off and just put those goggles on for field operations or whatever. I don't know. Uh, but I think his helmet is more, his helmet is more slick than the other Vipers. So these are kind of not wanting to stay on, but these also to me feel a little more stretchy than the other one. I'm not as worried about these possibly breaking. Well, there they are staying on now. Uh, that is the villain of the day. The, the very fashionable eye-catching Python Patrol Cobra Viper. Thanks for watching, you guys. Please like, subscribe, share, tell your friends about needless things. Check out Audible Interlude, a G.I. Joe podcast. And come back next time for more toy reviews. And as always, Cobra. Smash that like button if you like needless things.